Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the Hydrogen Day with JCB, joined by Lee here for the Backhoe Loader Hydrogen Walk Around. And what I really love about this day is we've started with the engines with Ryan. We've then gone and talked about how the electric journey has gone and how then the hydrogen journey has gone with the actual excavator. Videos for that available, folks. Now we're talking about the synonymous machine, JCB Backhoe Loader. And here we are, it's got the engine in it. It's gone down the factory line now. It has indeed. And we're yep. making these just as you would at a pace when you're looking at the normal diesel engine now in that version, hasn't it? Yeah. It has indeed, that's it. And that's really enabled by the, the minimal amount of change that this technology brings to us. So we stick with what we know and love in yep. the, with our fabulous JCB engine, a really robust, proven bottom end. Yep. And really the changes come in in that cylinder head area where we introduce the new hydrogen fuel system and the spark plugs to ignite it. And really, that's it. Right, and Everything this is else the whole is point, the same. isn't it? It is indeed. Because what we're talking about with hydrogen is this is the alternative fuel that's going to work for the industry with medium-sized machines like this, with 20-ton excavators that we've seen. And so people need to understand that they can do a full shift with this, don't they? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So they've got to get the right amount of fuel in the machines and understand that customer duty profile to make sure it can still do a job for them. The instant it doesn't do a job for our customers, it's not commercially viable. Nobody's got time to wait, waiting for battery machines to charge or machines to be stood down, waiting for them to become ready again. So we've got to get it right from the stop and do a full day's work. But folks, before we do that, I need to know a little bit more about the fluids. Right, okay, so when we're talking about hydrogen, it works in a different way, doesn't it, Lee, as a fuel? Absolutely, so the main thing with hydrogen is that it's a zero carbon fuel. And probably the best visual indicator I can give you that is let's have a look at the oil. So you, I'm sure you've dipped oil on a diesel machine before. Absolutely. What colour is it? Black. Do you know what Lee. makes it black? Uh, carbon or carbon. something like that. Yep. Bingo. So what do you think a zero carbon fuel does to its oil? Um, not a lot. Let's take a look. Right, let's go and show this to the camera, folks. Look at that. There's no black there at all, folks. So you know, obviously, this is a, this is a, a fuel uh, as absolute, such. There is no carbon. There is absolute zero carbon. So there There's we go. No better indicator than seeing that. This machine has done, I think, close to 250 hours since right. the last oil change, and it is as clean as that. And of course, the oil does do its job, folks, so we do need to change it on a, a regular basis. <laughs> Service <laughs> intervals uh, for any engine, obviously. But this is the whole point, isn't it? Now we're sort of seeing how the oils and how these things get contaminated yep. on, on an, a regular basis with just doing the job that they're doing. Absolutely. Now, there's a little thing that, that Ryan told me about as well. This particular oil is a bit special because it captures the water that's coming out from the steam from the engine. And we've got all of that information from Ryan in a previous interview, Lee. And so that's where the real magic happens when we've got this machine, when we're working with this machine, steam's coming out, out the back and literally the exhaust is dripping water isn't it that's it and it's absolutely familiar for our customers and dealers alike it's serviced and maintained in exactly the same way as the products today when we look at the other technologies such as the fuel cell that's a real real carve up for our service and support network completely different piece of kit yeah. where this is available and ready to go now and that's what people want to see ready to work right so in order to ready to work let's go and fill it up shall we let's have a look so folks, now it's time to refuel with the hydrogen refueling nozzle. But where is the fuel going to go? Right down here, folks. Look, I found the nozzle. Let's do it. Mark, give us the nozzle. Thank you very much, Mark. Here we go. Right, there it is. You shove it in here like that. Then you turn it all the way. And this is now ready to refuel, folks. Simple as that. We can hear it. There we go. It's actually working. So. We're refueling right now, and this is a tank again. How many litres in here? Um, so we rate this in kilos. It'll be between six to eight kilos on a machine like this, but we'll right size them for the customer when we take these products to market. 350 bar, and now we're talking kilos. Obviously not litres, <laughs> aren't we? It. So that's fantastic to see. Well done that you've got the hydrogen machine. We've seen it working today as well. What's brilliant about this is we've got the solution here. And this, folks, is the hydrogen load all. Exactly the same solutions as the backhoe loader and can be refueled in exactly the same way. It's just another part of the hydrogen journey here at JCB. But guess what, Lee? It doesn't stop here. 
I've got to go and see Mark, because Mark's helping me refuel it. But we've got to see where we're refueling it from. Thanks very much, Lee. Cheers. But I can't leave a machine refueling. In fact, it's actually full now, folks. I must put it away safely. And so it's time to take the nozzle off. Here we go. Right, so we turn, we push in, pull out, and we're ready to go. Better go and see Mark, haven't we?